Hi there, it's May um, 20th, almost like eight minutes away. Um, I thought I would get on and say hi, because it's been a while since I said anything. Elise um, is graduating from preschool on Monday. And she already graduated from one of the preschools on Wednesday this week. It's kind of weird to see the girls growing up. Abigail graduated eighth grade when she's like in a battle of the bands and wants a guitar. It's crazy. Oh. I've been taking hormone blockers. Um, and so when I don't take them, sometimes I get a little bit emotional. I learned that this week. Um, I also went to StokerCon, which is a convention of the World Horror Association. Met a lot of people and generally had a good time. Uh, I've been thinking a lot lately about uh, today, specifically about doing the things and the reason why we do things. Um, I've been watching near-death experiences. I saw one today, it was interesting. The lady, she was talking about how important it is um, to put good intentions out in the universe in, you know, because we're all the same thing made of the same stuff. So putting love out in the universe is so important. I was thinking how important it is. And I was thinking about another quote that I heard just today, something about um, how we're taught when we're young to work hard, but we're not taught to work happy. We're taught that if we work hard, we'll be happy. But instead, we need to learn how to work with intention, work with joy, work with love. And I was thinking about how often I actually choose and make decisions based on love or whether I'm making decisions based on um, self -cent uh, some kind of a self-interest or um, duty, you know. And, and how my life would probably be a lot happier if I would just choose love and choose to do things out of love. I tried to think about that today and I just, it was terrible. I failed, I just failed. <laughs> you know, I tried to do things out of love but then I just fail. And I get angry and I get frustrated and I get impatient. And all of those things, all of those emotions are driven by selfishness, you know? People aren't moving fast enough for me, and that's impatience. And, you know, people aren't doing it the way I want them to do it, and that's frustration. And people aren't giving me the credit that's that I'm due or people aren't, you know, being aware of my emotional needs, there's the anger. It's all, it's all selfish. <laughs> I guess it didn't help that I, I was reading this, um, this conference talk from, oh my gosh, Elder Iring? No, maybe Elder Iring about selfishness. I read that this morning. And how selfishness is just kind of this pervasive evil and, um, and how it leads basically to the undermining of civilization. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want to be selfish. I'm trying to live a life that will bring me joy, but I don't want to do that at the expense of other people. I want to live a life where love guides all of my decisions. 
not some nebulous concept of God. I think that that's a good placeholder. But I think that the, the next level up is not doing what you think God wants you to do, but doing everything that you do from a place of love, recognizing that all people everywhere need your love and goodness and kindness and doing the things that will most bring you, the most bring the world, the love of God. And so I guess it's all kind of the same, right? Like it all is all kind of wrapped up together. You know, if you're trying to do what God wants you to do, then it's probably gonna be loving everybody. <laughs> but I think that you can get wrapped up in the idea that God wants you to do this laundry list of things that literally have nothing to do with people. And, um, and I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. In fact, I think that that's the problem with religion generally, is that we think that the laundry list is what brings us happiness, or the laundry list is what brings us closer to salvation, and that has nothing to do with real salvation, it's nothing to do with our real purpose. Although I'm sure God can use us in whatever way he wants, but I think that the real purpose is to come out here and then learn how to love people in whatever way they need to be loved. And that's it. <laughs> so anyway, nothing so super profound, but something I just think.